better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, sambo. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start. Ready. to lock the expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Lunges forward with a left there. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. It's a beautiful fast foot jab with beating. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body again, making great use of his length in this matchup. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind the jab. And both guys really throwing with authority. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Straight right hand now just misses. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Uppercut attempt does not get to the target. Nice job defensively there by Choi. Wow. Yeah. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Just misses there with the left. Choi's shot there is blocked. Big leg kick land. And he landed the right hand there. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here too. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Whips on the straight right hand. Got the single collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, overhand to the dome. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense?
much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? PC? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, here's a kick to the body. Blocked, though, by the Korean Super Bowl. Flush right hand is true. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward, and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his track. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Nice. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big knee lands to the bottom. Back and forth we go! Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see. These high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, fight down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Nice job mixing up your strikes. Those leg kicks are really starting to pay off. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two underway. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Punch coming, it's blocked. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Try to establish that jab. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Throwing that jab, no good. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, nice. Well, no surprise, he goes for the takedown. Oh, big knee! Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Close guard, sound strike on the ground. Nowadays, you see guys just throwing little shots that don't really matter. Very few guys now are committed to ground and pound as they were in the past. Choi's shot is blocked. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. There's no give on that leg kick. Big kick land. Back and forth we go here. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Straight right hand, no good. Oh, that's a nice strike. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Big 
kick. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Punch over the top. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Joy gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Oh! Huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Beautiful body to play right on the top. Oh man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Straight punch land. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight right. Oh, nice right hand. Let your hands go. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up. When it comes to his aggressiveness, certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Nice loop and punch. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Not bad. Let's relax. Excellent work. All those rounds on the pads in the gym paid off. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Ooh, big shot, man. Just out of range with that right hand. Set the pace and hit him first. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Big punch lands through the middle. Straight right, he misses. Able to connect. Good jab hurt him a little bit. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Ooh, what a punch. He blocks the punch. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Big kick lands. <laughs> Trying to establish that jab once again. Wow. All right, so a near perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first take out of the fight, and they say if it's first you don't succeed. Try, try again, was able to get him down there. Persistence pays, and that's what we saw with this young man over and over. He shot for takedowns, he tried to mix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top? Oh, wow, that happened.
happen quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Close guard. Oh, working hard to get back up again, and he's there. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Oh! Position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. And really starting to make these shots count. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land a beautiful ground and pound combination. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. Oh! That is unbelievable, John. for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 28 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by... Oh!